In this video, we're gonna show you how to integrate Wishlist Member with Stripe. So to get started, head over to Setup and then Integrations and under Payment Providers, select Stripe from the list of payment providers. Next thing you wanna do is go ahead and click this Configure button here and Wishlist Member is gonna ask you for a secret key and a publishable key and these are going to, you're gonna be able to get these from inside of Stripe and you'll see there's a link here that links directly to where you need to go. So Click that link and you will be taken to this page here where you will see your publishable key and your secret key. So just go ahead and copy those from there and then head back over to Wishlist Member and populate those in the secret key and publishable key here. Once you're done then just go ahead and click save and close. Now one thing you'll notice when you you click save and close and you enter your API details, you'll see this API status, it'll uh, be checking for a while and then if it's connected correctly, it will say connected. So that's how you know that the, the API is connected properly. Next thing you'll wanna do is you'll want to copy this webhook URL and we need to paste that into Stripe and you can see again, we have a link here for you to go right to where you need to go. So go ahead and click that link and you will be taken to this page under developers webhooks and you'll want to click this add endpoint button. Go ahead and pop, uh, paste that URL into this box here. And then uh, as far as the version and the, the filter events, just go ahead and leave that to all event types. You can leave this to default, uh, et cetera. So you can leave those as they are and hit add endpoint. Once you do that, then Wishlist Member and Stripe sort of have all of the backend technology integrated to talk to one another. Now it's just a matter of setting a few settings and setting up your pro uh, products. So if we head over to products here, you will see a list of your membership levels. You'll see any uh, posts or pages that you have turned on pay per post, the pay per post feature for, and you can integrate these with either a one-time payment or a Stripe subscription plan that you may have created in your account. So do that, go ahead and click one of these and select either Stripe plan. And if you select that, then select the plan that you would like to use that you've created over in Stripe. Or if you'd like to select one-time payment, use that, select that, and then enter the amount that you would like to charge for the one-time payment here. And once you're done, go ahead and hit save and close. And then you'll see over to the right here, we now, now have this option for you to get your button code. So go ahead and copy this short code and this is the code that you will paste into your sales page wherever you want your payment button to appear. So simply copy that and paste that code into your sales page and Wishlist Member will do the rest in terms of the payment form and so forth with Stripe. Now, if you'd like to customize the way that that looks, you can go back to the settings tab and you can click configure. And then under the settings tab, you can edit the currency, you can edit the support email, the cancellation redirect, this is where they go if they, they pop open the, the payment form and then they get uh, into the, the purchase process and then they cancel, this is the page that they'll be redirected to. So you may wanna create a specific page for that. Uh, whether you wanna cancel immediately after the sub subscription ends, if you wanna prorate upgrades, etc. So this is all the different behaviors of the form. And then under payment, the payment form tab, you can edit the look and feel. So the heading text, you can add a logo, the, the actual button, uh, the pay, panel button label, et cetera. So all the different settings in terms of look and feel for the payment form. Again, once you're done, go ahead and hit save and close, and that's it. Once you put that short code onto your sales page, when someone clicks that, the Stripe payment form will pop up. They'll be able to compete uh, complete their purchase and then they will be redirected back to wishlist member to finish creating their account once they do that they'll be given access to all of the content that they're supposed to be able to access via the membership level that they just signed up for so that's it that's how to integrate wishlist member and stripe